Hello and welcome to my portal to Let's Play series finally here. It's been quite a while since we completed the Portal 1 game and I think it is about time that we finally start the Portal 2 Let's Play slash streams. Now I have already been streaming this, um, that's last Wednesday and I have now decided to record this because I think it needed a little bit of a better intro so we are doing that now. If you haven't watched Portal 1 live streams or episodes I made a live stream series but I also then recorded it and chopped it up and well not really chopped much off. Um, just separated it into episodes and uploaded it as a separate let's play series so you can go ahead and watch that if you wish to do so to catch up to speed because I will not be doing a review or not a review a recap of what happened in the last game and how we did you just have to go and watch it for yourself I think that's the best experience to have but anyways other than that um, I will be doing the same here with portal 2 I will be streaming it and then I will be recording it separately and then uploading those recordings to YouTube as a separate let's play series for those of you who would rather watch that or watch it after the stream but that is pretty much that I think that is pretty much the intro done now for those of you who do not know what the portal game is about basically portal it's not a horror game even though if you click into the video it might seem like it but it's not don't worry portal is a puzzle game a puzzle game where you get a gun that can create portals um, that you can pass through you can also pass items through of course or objects um, and you have to solve puzzles and that is pretty much that I don't want to make it any harder than that it's simple you can go ahead and watch the gameplay of either Portal 2 or if you want to see what happens in Portal 1, go ahead and watch Portal 1. Though, one thing I wanted to say first is that it's not just a puzzle game, it's a puzzle game, but they also added a story in it, so it's not just boring puzzles or whatever, it's just not, oh, puzzles, the mind has to work now. It also has a built-in story which makes it really amazing, I really love this game and I'm excited to play Portal 2. So. With all that said and done, I hope you will enjoy, and I hope to see you there, either in, back in Portal 1, uh, I hope you have a time machine to do that, <laughs> or in this Portal 2. Let's go, right now, with the footage. Alright, so hello and welcome to my Portal 2 Let's Play series. We are live here on YouTube and we are recording separately. If you haven't seen the Portal 1 Let's Play, be sure to go and check it out. We will be playing the single player mode, of course. Um, we might do some community test chamber streams after that, so if you haven't yet, be sure to subscribe and enable notifications so you won't miss out on that. Let's hit play! Alright. Good morning! You have been in suspension for 15 days. In compliance with state and federal regulations, all testing candidates in the Aperture Science Extended Relaxation Center must be revived periodically for a mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look up at the ceiling. Okay. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, look down at the floor. Okay. Good. This completes the gymnastic portion of your mandatory physical and mental wellness exercise. There is a framed painting on the wall. Please go stand in front of it. This is art. You will hear a buzzer. When you hear the buzzer, stare at the art. Okay. You should now feel mentally reinvigorated. If you suspect <laughs> staring at art has not provided the required intellectual sustenance, reflect briefly on this classical music. Oh boy. Good. Now please return to your bed. Mm. Okay, let's sleep, I guess. Good morning. You have been in suspension for nine, 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 nine. Hello? Anyone in there? Oh boy. Hello? Are you gonna open the door? At any time? Hello? Oh boy. Are you gonna open this door? Because it's, fa it's fairly urgent. Oh, just open the door! I have been here for a long time, apparently. Why not open the door? Hola, amigo. Abre la puerta. Donde esta... No, um... What on earth? <laughs> fine, no, fine, absolutely fine. It's not like All right, I don't have, you know, ten All right, let's. Ah! Oh, God, you look. Hey there. Um, 
Good. Looking good, actually. Are you okay? Are, are you... Don't answer that. I'm absolutely sure you're fine. There's plenty of time for you to recover. Just take it. Please slow. prepare for emergency evacuation. Stay calm. Stay, stay calm. Prepare. It's all the same. Prepare. It's all fine. All right? Don't move. I'm going to get us out of here. Oh, you might want to hang on to something. Word of advice. Up to you. Okay. Oh, boy. What's happening? You all right down there? Can you hear me? Hello? Yeah, I think I'm fine. What is this? Where am I? Help. Most test subjects do experience oh. some uh, cognitive deterioration after a few months in suspension. Now, you've been under for quite a lot longer, and it's not out of the question that you might have a very minor case of serious brain damage. But don't be alarmed. Great, right? thank uh, you. Although if you do, if you do feel alarmed, try to hold on to that feeling because that is the proper reaction to being told that you've got brain damage. Do you understand <laughs> what I'm saying at all? Does any of this make any sense? Just tell me. Just say yes. Yeah. Okay. What you're doing there is jumping. Uh, you just you just jumped. But never mind. Say apple. Apple. Uh. Okay. You know what? That's close enough. Just hold tight. Uh, All reactor happening? core safeguards are now non-functional. Please prepare for reactor core meltdown. Reactor core meltdown? What? Where am I? Hey, look, I wasn't going to mention this to you, but I'm in pretty hot water here. How are you doing down there? You still oh, holding on? Oh, boy. The reserve power ran out, so of course the whole relaxation center stops waking up the bloody test subjects. Oh, boy. Hold on, this is a bit tricky. And of course, nobody tells me anything. No, why should you tell me anything? Oh boy. <laughs> why should I be kept informed? You know, about the life functions of the 10,000 bloody test subjects I'm supposed to be in charge of. Why? It's close. Can you see? Am I going to make it through? But I love space. Oh boy. Uh, just, just got to get through here. Okay, I just got to concentrate. And this is not safe. Do you think it's going to be when the management comes down here and finds 10,000 flipping vegetables? <laughs> Alright, so now I hit that one. I hit that one. Yeah, you did. You're stupid at driving. Bad at driving. <laughs> okay, listen. We should get our story straight, alright? If anyone asks, and no one's going to ask, don't worry, but if anyone asks, tell them as far as you know, the last time you checked, everyone looked pretty much alive. Alright? Not dead. Okay. Almost um, there. Okay. On the other side of that wall is one of the old testing tracks. Oh There's boy. a piece of equipment in there that we're going to need to get out of here. I, I think this is a docking station. Get ready. Uh. Oh, flip. Really? Good news. That is not a docking station. So there's one mystery solved. Uh, I'm going to attempt <laughs> a manual override on this wall. Could get a bit technical. Hold on. Almost there. Remember, you're looking for a gun that makes holes, not bullet holes. But don't worry, you'll figure it out. Seriously, do hold on this time. Whoa. There we go. Now, I'll be honest, you are probably in no fit state to run this particular type of cognitive gauntlet. But um, at least you're a good jumper. So you got that, got the jumping on your side. Um, just do your best, and I'll meet you up ahead. Uh, okay. Off you go. All right then. That's the spirit. Good luck. Oh Hello. no. And again, welcome to the Aperture Science Enrichment Center. Not this we again. are currently experiencing technical difficulties due to circumstances of potentially apocalyptic significance beyond our control. However, oh boy. thanks to emergency testing protocols, testing can continue. These pre-recorded messages will provide instructional and motivational support so that science can still be done, even in the event of environmental, social, economic, or structural collapse. The portal will open, and emergency testing will begin in three, two, one. We did this in Portal 1. Don't tell me it's all over again. I remember this place. A long time has passed. I think we actually stood up there at the end, up there. Cube or there. Button-based testing remains an important tool for science, even in a dire emergency. 
If cube and button-based testing caused this emergency, don't worry. The odds of this happening twice are very slim. Great. Yeah, I think we stood up there. In portal one. Oh boy. Please note the incandescent particle field across the exit. This Aperture Science Material Emancipation Grill will vaporize any unauthorized equipment that passes through. Okay, fair. I remember the elevators being a little bit more advanced than this. Oh boy. Oh boy. Alright. Alright. We'll be fine. If you feel liquid running down your neck, relax, lie on your back, and apply immediate pressure to your temples. You are simply experiencing a rare reaction in which the material emancipation drill may have emancipated the ear tubes inside your head. Great. Thanks. Test one, huh? I remember this one. So it's a bit different. In this one we actually activate the different ones. We didn't do that last time. Okay. Activate that one. Alrighty. Good. Because of the technical difficulties we are currently experiencing, your test environment is unsupervised. Before re-entering a relaxation vault at the conclusion of testing, please take a moment to write down the results of your test. An Aperture Science Reintegration Associate will revive you for an interview when society has been rebuilt. Well, that elevator looks safe. Oh boy. All right. If the Earth is currently governed by a manner of animal king, sentient cloud, or other governing body that either refuses to or is incapable of listening to reason. Okay. Uh, creepy. Mm -hmm. I seem to recall this. Hey! You made it! Oh, hey there. There should be a, a portal device on that podium over there. I can't see it though. Maybe it fell off. Oh, oh boy. Eh. Ow. Hello. How am I still Can alive? You see the portal gun? Also, are you alive? That's important. Should have asked that first. I'm, Ooh. Do you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna work Follow on the wall. you're still alive, and I'm just gonna wait for you up ahead. I'll wait, I'll wait one hour, oh. then I'll come back. And assuming I can locate your dead body, I'll bury you. Right, what is friends. this? Go team! See you in an hour, hopefully. If you're not dead. Hmm. What is this? Alright, here is the portal gun. So the portal gun, if you didn't know, can only make portals on certain surfaces. Oh, what's this? Basically, this place had been abandoned for quite some time. Because back in Portal 1, this was fully functioning testing chambers. And there we are. Okay. Yay, daylight. Okay. But I can see them down there. That's interesting. All right. Some emergency testing may require prolonged interaction with lethal military androids. Rest assured that all lethal military androids have been taught to read and provided with one copy of the laws of robots to share. Okay. So I can't jump up. I need to make a portal here. Okay. I do not remember this test. Good. 
If you feel that a lethal military android has not respected your rights as detailed in the laws of robotics, please note it on your self-reporting form. A future Aperture Science Entitlement Associate will initiate the appropriate grievance filing paperwork. Oh boy. We're doing good so far. We're doing good so far. And I actually think I'm gonna end the first episode here, not the stream, don't worry, not the stream, but the first recorded video here. So if you're watching this on video, well, stand by for the next episode, which I will be recording right now. We will be continuing the stream. But if you haven't done so yet, be sure to subscribe and enable notifications so you won't miss the live stream or when I will be uploading the video. But anyways, hope you enjoyed and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye. Thank you.